Good afternoon, we're so glad you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. It's a late start to our day. And moist. Look what and you we found this weird pamphlet. Flavors of Florida. Oh, At Disney Springs. Cool. So we're at Fit to Run for a little excursion through Disney Springs. And now I showed Sarah these, where are they? Are these ones? Mm -hmm. Yeah, these are one of these. Are the, these right here are the Nike Zoom Fly FKs. And they've got a carbon fiber plate in the sole. So that when you're running and you bend it, it like pops back and makes you essentially makes you bounce and faster, pushes you forward. That's crazy. Do you think it makes it just like it's like less impact on you or not really? No, I think it pushes your your foot forward more. Oh, okay. So it's like a spring. And they're only $180 for like that. And I think I've seen them way more expensive. Right. A lot of like the runners I watch on YouTube have been talking about like are, is that the future of marathon running shoes with carbon carbon plates. I mean, that's like good for any sport don't you think right mm -hmm. and then like because it's got the carbon plate like they're much lighter like the light it's a lighter material on top it's not as structured but i need structure because my over pronation but plenty of time in the running store let's move forward the, the more fun stuff <laughs> wait there's a shirt i want to show well i haven't seen this one but it's cute fast pass to the finish line all of these are cute but i saw this on the way in in a corral far far away which is so funny because Peter always talks about like while he's getting ready for the race that the corral is so far from the actual starting line. A half marathon run. This too, this is cute. We'll run. Carolyn needs that. So today the rain has been crazy. I feel like we're like in summer now. Well, and it lasted really late today. Right. I had to go run errands after work, so I didn't get home till almost like seven. Almost seven, yeah. So our original plan was to go hang out with Rocky and family. Um, it's so loud. Right? It's so loud. Okay, better now. So we are supposed to go to Animal Kingdom tonight with Rocky and her family and do Rivers of Light. With Peter getting home so late and it being potentially rained out, we decided to rain check and come to Disney Springs instead. We were gonna go to a movie. But Sarah's got another acupuncture tomorrow and she's gotta get her eight hours. So she has to be in bed by 11, which means we have to leave wherever we are by 10. And there were no movies like right then and there. Right, well if we would have, like, if we would have left like 30 minutes earlier, we could have gone to the movies, but it would have been the only thing we did tonight. Yeah. And you can't tell by how bright it is, but it's like 8.30 right now. Right. We don't have that much time before we go to have to leave to go home, and I'm gonna go on a run tonight. So we figured we haven't had just like a leisurely I'm gonna show you these leggings. Look at these crazy leggings. Look at that fierce model. Yeah. I do like that shirt. We literally, I have only been in this short store. I don't like this store. It's just not my favorite. Yeah. And I, because of that, I've only gone in that store like four times yeah. in my life. It's okay. It's okay. And if, if you like it, props to you. Seat. You could go in this teacup every single time because it's so great. It is great. First stop. I, the funniest thing about Shigabu right now is our friend sends us a $25 gift card and we just like can't spend it. We, like, can't we just choose. love walking through Shigabu and love looking at everything and picking up anything. We just can't figure out what to buy, but maybe those lions are what it is. Uh, once again, <laughs> left empty handed. <laughs> We almost we got like paperweights. Stuff. We almost got big chanchitos because they have little chanchitos. We almost got big chanchitos we to go. We almost got a room spray. Almost got a room spray. Almost got so many things, but almost got Sarah Guatemala and worried all. Just but can't, can't choose something. Can't choose. You can kind of see on the screen. I hope it comes across that way however you're watching it. But this guy has like hot pink streaks in it. Ooh! Oh my gosh! All I want to know is how satisfying did it feel to be the person that got to rip that giant sticker off to make that? Because clearly they had like a sticker down, melted all the paints, or like paint and put it on there. And then peel the sticker off 
that makes the negative space that Mickey is there. That's like taking off the clear plastic off of a new technology piece. So yeah, that's the first time we've seen like the actual poster for it. Yeah. Going to the GLSEN. Flick is donating all the proceeds to their Pride merchandise too. So if you're a Harry Potter fan, we'll put the link down below. Yeah. Um, it's pretty stinking beautiful. <laughs> I didn't even see that part. You didn't. Look how awesome it is. It's really like watercolor. Daytime beautiful, yeah, nighttime inside beautiful. inside it says most magical place on earth. Because this is not the happiest know. place on earth. <laughs> Disneyland Resort is the happiest place on earth. Walt Disney World is the most magical place on earth. Smash! Karen, I just let you know you are ahead of your time. Look at all these Forkies. There's like a million of them. The Earhart's when they were here, they went to go, they had to find Forky. And they went to like multiple different places and couldn't find it. I saw this toy online, a video, and it's Woody, and when you literally when you say like somebody's coming. I don't know if it's Andy's coming or something, but it's voice activated and Woody falls down. I don't think it's this, it doesn't matter. but I'll try and find the video. And if you want to tell him that someone's entered the room, you have to say, someone is coming. <laughs> we couldn't leave the section without looking at this adorable art. The giant forky. So great, can't wait. We're holding off buying our tickets. That I is kidding. That is an incredible coffee mug that you could not drink. You couldn't drink out of that. It's too round. That would spill you. Yeah. Spill you? But it's a great mug. And Sarah and I are like, really want to pre-order our tickets to Toy Story 4 because we can with our AMC. But we need all of our credits between now and then to go see movies during the week. And that is what you call a first world problem. That is a first world problem. Major. For old time's sake and for the health and... Peter's Wait. guy is over there, so <laughs> abort mission. Abort mission, we'll come back after. Let's just do it real fast. Okay, fine. <laughs> what flavor did you go with? Classic. Um, citrus. Satsuma. Shea scrub. Is there any peppermint now? Blue hands means no luck. But I'm gonna listen to Christmas music tonight because of it. Um. Um. There's um. No music playing. <laughs> He'll come back. It's late. The stage is his tonight. It's late. He comes on in 15 minutes. We're good. So it's perfect enough time to go gawk over all the Eve stuff. Um, uh, uh, that's awesome. But also, look at this Magic Kingdom. That's fun. Old school tomorrow. <laughs> you just hit yourself in the face. <laughs> I'd actually, for real, buy this. I was about to say this looks like Pharrell's jacket. Really? Said, for real. <laughs> so I thought you were going to say Pharrell, and I thought you read my mind. Maybe. I did. For real Pharrell. For real Pharrell. Happy. The dedicated anthem to all run Disney events. Happy. <laughs> oh, you think you're doing it, huh? It's pretty darn cool. I said he could wear it in our camper. When we live in the camper? I said I feel like Jess from Gilmore Girls. <laughs> who I don't like. But I love Go this. I'm like secretly team Jess, I think. Who are you team then? Dean. A little Aladdin doom going on. Excuse me, we have eight minutes till showtime. <laughs> they know. They know. It's Eve. For sure. I kind of want to get at this. Or the Mickey one. I feel like she would just learn to pounce on it. Oh, that's cute. Yeah. I know she wouldn't go inside. I just opened her crate today so that she could have the whole Cause she's a She's a big girl now. Yeah. Sorry, I'm braiding my hair. We're minutes away from showtime. Minutes away. We're acting like this is like a ticketed event that we've been waiting months to see. I think it's here every every Thursday to Saturday. I think it's here. Or Thursday to Sunday. Stage. No, just at spring. He's somewhere. always bouncing around. But I think he has like a Facebook page that you can like look at his schedule if you're interested. Not part of it. Yeah. This is this is crazy timing. Sarah just checked out Joy Beth's Instagram story and she's here. But she's at Uniqlo. But Brian decided so we can't leave. <laughs>
What's up, y'all? My name is Brian. I never play all the music you want to listen to all night long. I'm gonna open up with something I know, okay? And then I'll find out what you guys like. Hopefully, be able to play that all night long. Let's see back in tune. He always asks if you want rock or country, and they said country. But I want him to play one of his songs, Change the Room. He's been playing it lately. No, it's one of his songs. He starts with coffee. He is a good one. Well, we cheer for both rock and roll. <laughs> <laughs> seen him do this before. Two days ago. All right, so it is it is online right now, so, which is awesome. I, I mean, we're all good friends. He just released this two days ago. Share my mind, you care about me. Just think, Peter. What? What? That was a good one. We rarely ever see it from like start to finish. Yeah, and we've never seen him start to finish at main stage. Yeah, that was really nice. And he premiered a new song that just released two days ago <laughs> that I didn't even know that happened. Um, so Joey like, is going to Aladdin, so we're not going to see him. She didn't even invite me, Joey Beth. I was with you for like six hours yesterday. I got AMC stubs, A list. I mean, like. What's up, Joy Beth? We gotta go home now. Peter's gonna run. He did not wake up this morning. Um, well, but... I woke up, but I made the choice to not run this morning because I went to sleep at like 1 a.m. Yeah. Woke up at 5. I was exhausted. Tonight's a three mile run with a break, a rest day tomorrow. So, so then I was like, you I might can as well get on the morning groove after the break. Starting Saturday. But guys, Sunday, I don't know if I told you that. Sunday, 10 miles on my schedule of training. I haven't done that since the half marathon. Everything is awesome. Yeah. Everything is cool when you're part of a team. What the heck? This is so fun. A Toy Story drop. Oh, it's a game. We're gonna do this early today while Peter gets ready for his run. 
Life is 10% what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. Charles R. Swindle. Peace out, Girl Scout. I'm gonna go run. And I have to run on the treadmill. And I highly- Do you have to? No, but I saw a snake two days ago when it was dry out, let alone it's humid and it rained later today. Really? So the roads like near our, our house are like partially flooded, which means all the critters are gonna be out. So since it's only three miles, I'm just gonna stick it out and go run on the treadmill. Love you. Love you. Oh, 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 she, she kinda let you see it. She's so fluffy. She really needs a haircut, but you can see it, her little rainbow bow. All right, so Sarah went to bed. I finished my run. It was a it was a, a easier one today since it was raining. I did it on a treadmill. Tomorrow's my rest day, and then the weekend. It's gonna be a challenging weekend when it comes to running. Um, feeling good, feeling confident. Got great moral support from you guys. Got great moral support from Sarah. Got friends that are runners that I text with a lot. Um, that we motivate each other and everything. Taking care of myself. Stretching. I'm trying to stretch even like tomorrow with the rest day. I'm gonna try to stretch and use my roller. I just rolled my legs out for like 25 minutes. That's what is crucial to preventing what happened during the marathon in January when I almost tore my Achilles. It's that's a, a big thing about that is stretching. But anyway, I'll go on and on. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.